What a do, y'all. No Spirit X game dev log this month since I've been working on this tool instead, which I needed for some world building. Introducing Fanlang, the open source software to easily create fantasy languages and the like. You can find a GitHub page for more info and downloads in the description. Fanlang is a tool that allows you to, by defining a simple set of rules, very easily create an entirely new language. In the left panel, you can insert your input text which you want to be translated. This can be any language you want as long as they use western characters, since I didn't bother testing it with, for example, Chinese or Arabic characters. I suggest you use an input language that you actually speak fluently in order to get the most accurate results. For example, the Estoforian language which I use in my own worlds, I use Dutch as input language since that is my native tongue and one of the grammatical structure that was slightly different from English. So for example, let's just use English as our input language. You can apply a bunch of rules to your input if you want in terms of in which order words should appear in a sentence, but for now let's just use basic English. You can see our output text appear in the center panel. In the right panel we have standard options at the top for managing your project. Below that we have our project name. Below that we have a text field where we can insert a description for our language. Here you can write some lore about your language, your language's rules like input language and grammatical structure, etc. Below that is the fun part, where we define what our language actually looks like. Fanlang works on a simple read and replace principle. Character by character, we read our input text starting with the longest possible. If you find a match with any translate hash, we replace the input with our defined output. By adding more translate hashes, more rules, we get a more and more complex language that's indistinguishable from our input language, if done correctly at least. Let me open the example project to demonstrate. How I usually start with creating languages is by having a handful of words and deciding what I want them to sound like. Once we have that, we start breaking down the rules on how to get from our input to our desired output. We insert those rules in the right panel. And now even words that you haven't thought about will also follow those same rules, creating a new language that follows the exact linguistic rules of your input language. Though if you want, you can create much more complex rules by adding more specific translate hashes. After having defined our template words, we can add more and more hashes to flesh out our language more and encapsulate more of the alphabet to create something truly unique. Often you will find that you have duplicate characters after each other. Instead of creating hashes for each possible scenario where that might occur, I introduced the ability to add additional translate sheets. Each sheet is a separate iteration over our input language. Meaning, first we translate the input using our first sheet. That output is passed onto the next sheet, which also translates it, and so on. Using multiple sheets, you can create infinitely unique languages. If you're into world building and the like, I highly encourage you to check it out and see what you're able to create with it. A fanlang is purely limited to the creator's dedication and imagination, so I'm really curious to see what other people will be able to create with this tool. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe in there.